So let me show you another way to write the power series expansion for 1 plus x over 1 minus x. So just like my first video, we will look at this as 1 over 1 minus x and then plus, and we can just put the x on the side times 1 over 1 minus x, just like that. But then the different things that I'm going to do in this video is that I will just work with the sigma notation. So for the 1 over 1 minus x, this is exactly the same with our best friend. I don't need to do anything with that, right? I can just write this down as sigma when n goes from 0 to infinity, x to n's power. So I'll just do that right here. Sigma when n goes from 0 to infinity, x to n power. That's it. And then for the second term, we will have plus, and we have the x times this parentheses here. It's also our best friend. We can just write it down. The same thing. Sigma when n goes from 0 to infinity, x to the n power. The difference is that we have this x in front of it. So we should multiply this x inside. So we will have sigma when n goes from 0 to infinity, x to the nth power, that stays the same. But then for the second one, we will have plus sigma when n goes from 0 to infinity, x to the not just n power, but n plus 1 power. So that's what we have. And then ideally, we should combine the sigmas. So it's just we'll have like one sigma notation. And this is how we work with the sigma notation for the power series. And later on, when you guys take like differential equation, this is one of the things that you have to do for the power series solutions for differential equations. So you know, I wanted to show you guys how to do that right here. So the first thing I want to make sure is that we want to match the powers of x. Here we have x to the n power. Here we have x to the n plus 1 power. We must make sure that both of them have the same power. And one way to do it is, let's just work with a bigger power, the x to the n plus 1 power here. I would like to just match this to be the same as x to the n power. And to do that, you see that this is x to the n plus 1. I can just subtract 1 from the n. So we have you know, just x to the n right here. That's cool. I will just subtract 1 from the end, so we have n minus 1 plus 1. That's what I'm doing. But then to compromise the subtraction, what we do is, instead of n is equal to 0, we have to add 1 to that. So n will start with 1 to infinity. And you add 1 to infinity, it doesn't change, it's still infinity. This and that are equivalent. Once again, subtract 1 from here, and you add 1 from the starting value, and that's how we get the x to the n, and then 1 to infinity. And then the first one is the same. Well, let's, let's just, just do that for now. So you see that this right here, the x to the n, is the same as x to n here. But then the problem is, this goes from n is equal to 0 to infinity, but this goes from 1 to infinity. They don't match. This is what we do to make it match. What does this mean? This means we have plugging 0 into the n, we have x to the 0, and then we add when we plug in 1 into n, so we have x to the first, and then so on, x to the second, and keep it on going forever. The first term, this is just going to be 1, and then the second term is to x to the first power, and so on. But if you just pay attention to all these terms, I can write that as sigma when n starts with 1, and then to infinity, and then this is x to the nth power. The idea is, look at this form, plugging the first term, which is n is equal to 0, into here. That will give us 1. So let me put this down. This is the 1. And then the remainder, right, the remaining part, it stays the same form. It's still going to be, let me write this down in red, sigma when n goes from, but we lose one term, because we took a one term. So n will start with 1 to infinity, and then the form stays the same, x to the n. And then this is still adding. Okay. Well, we have this one all the way in the front, so that's cool. But then this and that, they are exactly the same, right? So we have two of them. You can put a two in front of the sigma notation, just like how they did in the, ends, uh, in the back of the book, the answer in the back of the book. So we have two of this sigma notation, and goes from 1 to infinity, x to the n power. So this right here, it's the form for that power series. And this is how we work with sigma notation. Once again, match the power first, 
we match the power first, and then we match the index. And to match the index, we have to take out some terms. And this is it. And by the way, the radius of convergence and the interval convergence is pretty much the same as our girlfriend, so that's it. That's how we get that.